video we're going to be using ngrock to expose our local website to the web. We're going to learn what ngrock is, we're going to install it, we're going to expose a local Drupal page outside our local network, and we're going to have a look at the local and remote dashboards. Here is the ngrock.com and it simply says that it's a tool that helps you send previews to your clients and that's pretty much saying everything so it helps you expose a local web page that you are building on your local web server to a remote web address that your client could simply click on and see the web page that you're developing so Let's go ahead and start by downloading the ngrock. We're going to simply follow these steps. We're going to download the version for our operating system and we're going to unzip it like so. And we could connect our account on ngrock.com with our local ngrock so in order to do that we would either have to sign up or log in directly i'm going to use my google account and as you see after you log in you see that here this is already populated with an actual authentication key so Let's jump to the terminal and let's jump to the folder where we downloaded ngrock and if we just simply run ngrock we see that it's working. It's downloaded and it's unzipped. So let's go ahead and actually authenticate ourselves. So ngrock and then run the bit that I copied from the web page like so and it says that the authentication is saved to a configuration file that's perfect and now let's go ahead and pick a local web page so here I have a local web page that is called Condrupo and it's running under port 8083. So picking the example that we have here, if I just switch to the terminal and paste it, we're going to change it a bit because in our case the port is actually 8083. So instead of 80, I will put 8083. And also I like to use something that is called host header and the host header would be actually the bit that is here so if I just paste it and if I remove the HTTP in front and if I just hit enter this way we just created a ngrock URL that is forwarding to our local web page. So if I just open this forwarding URL that ngrock created for us and if I paste it in the web browser I would see my local Drupal web page and it's working perfectly and this URL basically could be accessed by our client. For example, we created a nice Drupal web page and it's not done. We don't want to deploy it to the web server, but we want to show it to the client. So we could simply use ngrock for that. And ngrock also has a super nice web interface that basically is a dashboard and it basically allows us to 
monitor some stuff like if you want to debug something it says ng rock it says that it's online currently it basically tracks all the requests here and it gives us a really nice status page where we see also some additional details for our page also on the ngrocks web page ngrock.com when we click on dashboard or if we stay on this page and if we click on status we should basically see the tunnels that we have currently running so if I refresh there we go so here we also see the ngrock local web pages that we are exposing to the web and keep in mind that as soon as you quit ngrock here or as you click ctrl c the web pages are gone because it's no longer redirecting to anything locally and basically next time as you run ngrock it would generate a different forwarding url that's something that you should keep in mind as you are sending urls and as you are debugging stuff so if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching